Hello, Americans. Another friend subscribes around the world. Back again, man. Just springtime in Idaho. This still drain or drip or uh, the Buddha leaking off uh, enough cook for it. Stop. All right, so I went to uh, turn around right now to back this thing in so I can unload all this junk I just bought. But Miss Kitty had a dentist appointment this morning, this afternoon. I guess it was still morning. So while she was at the dentist office, I didn't take the GoPro. I would have just took it in with me. But while she was at the dentist office. I hit the uh, junk shop, man. Always treasure hunting. Cause I've had a couple people, man, ask me, uh, what is it you do for a living? And did I always forget this? All oh, y'all ain't been with me. And I ain't really done any uh, junk or reseller videos for a while, but to the people that have asked what we do for a living, we've been in the um, the junkin resale business, uh, antique shows, flea markets. I've had a trading post, you know, all that, man. I've been in the, um, the resale business for 30 plus years. So that's what we do. So I'm always treasure hunting, man, for resale. I actually scored a few good things and then, of course, some things for us. So. Getting ready to unload it, so might as well show you a little bit of what we found. Or what I found. Bags of food were already had feed were in here. Got Katie Joe some socks. <laughs> Got some leather. Uh, there's a whole bunch of you know, old uh, Christmas card box, but a whole bunch of leather goods. We're doing leather, and then there's a kit there. Some books, man. I actually got this one. I don't know if the kids have got it, man. It's gem or uh, minerals and gem stones of the of Idaho. Uh, I'm always getting books, man. Books are probably my, uh, or not probably, but books are our bread and butter. Uh, sold three books this morning. Um, Summer Gold Camper's Guide to Amateur Prospecting. This is an old one, and I've got a another thing of this but this is a second edition the westerners d brown very good book um, here's some more uh this is a clutch purse from tandy leather clutch purse kit i don't know look at that only 79 cents man then i got a book in there bottles old tool deal i thought this was cool man this uh um, 
farm to fork actually sold for 30 bucks man new. I think I already showed the men's got a gate been getting uh got a couple of these gates the uh, pet gates that um, use them for the the dogs or the puppies little dogs little rat dogs of my mom's and that's Texas Lacing Company Fort Worth Texas so that's stuff I'll keep for myself I can get a ton of stuff, man. I got these two totes, these nice totes right here. Right there, action-packed, rubber-made totes with locked with the handles and everything. Let's get this right here. This car, a ton of stuff. We already took one box, a couple pieces of silver jewelry and stuff in. That was hers. And picked up that fire rack right there for 99 cents. That right there, man, you could, it's all solid. Solid man, if I wasn't gonna use it like this, I could always just uh cut it up and pound knives out of that stuff. Look at these rubber mitts, pretty nice. I don't know, I guess we ain't got a ton of stuff to show you. <laughs> the thing is, man, when you're in the junk business, you have as much stuff as I do. Man, scoring uh, you know, what three or four books, three or four books, um, probably the farm to fork feel. The other stuff I kind of got for myself, the totes I got for myself. Then she's got, I got, like I said, I got a couple pieces of sterling silver stuff in there. What else did I take in there? Miss Kitty, a pan. Another one of those totes. It's not a ton of stuff, but man, I probably ended up with four or five things that I'll resell that I'll end up making more than I paid for everything. So that's how this business works, man. So man, the sun just came out for a little bit. I guess you might have seen that. I think it was out when I was looking at some of the junk in here. Uh, now we're headed out. I'm gonna check out some hogs and then go out to or out of Katie's and probably have a big dinner out of Katie Jones too. Or Leonard. It's still early. It's still like two o'clock. Making the best of it on the. Couldn't get much done around. This kitty got her first of a few dentist appointments done. I hate dentists. I don't like dentists or doctors. So. What do you got going on, Miss Kitty? Um, seed planting. Yeah, I guess, sure, talk about it. Okay, planting seeds. While we're doing that, I should have showed that book too, man. Those tomatoes Love Carrots, Carrots Love Tomatoes. Mm -hmm. It's a great book, man. It's a one that you can go through and look, you know. And do See what, what likes to grow together. Yeah, what likes to grow together and stuff. Yeah. Save space and use all the space in your garden. Yeah. It's all about gardening right now. I will tell you a little story. This morning, because yeah, I get up early, have my morning coffee, and going through, looking, watching uh, <clears throat> gardening and permaculture videos and stuff like that. And then I decided to go, you know, because we're in 5B, so I was trying, you know, 5B and trying to find, uh, and I was like interested in different techniques and stuff like that. <laughs> And then decided to go Idaho 5 feet. And dude, I don't know what the hell it is about Idaho and freaking uh, naked gardening. Those but, people are in Idaho? No, I don't know if that one, not the naked gardener. Yeah, there's one gal, man, that she's called the Naked Gardener. I wasn't going to mention any of all the names on here. 
but her, she don't really like run around naked gardening. That her, and she's very informative. It's actually a good um, show. But you know, it's, I think it's that whatever the hell they call it, uh, clickbait. Clickbait. Well, she does know, show herself name. in the nude, but you can't see anything. Right, it's just her back and stuff, you know, and all that too. Whatever. But why? When but, you're when you have knowledge to share, why do you got to throw yeah, that why, in there? That's just you know, whatever. That's just so that they have a Brazilian loss. Well, trying to hope maybe let the girls out. We can do a little gardening. Which thing is good? I don't think so. <laughs> Dude, come on. But anyway, one man couple up. Uh, up north, up in northern Idaho. Yeah, it's northern Idaho, man. Northern Idaho is just loaded with transplants and all this, man. That is like the uh, where everybody's going for the off grid, freaking all the dude. I wouldn't go to northern Idaho for nothing, man. It is, you know, my uncle lives, our Kitty's uncle lives up there, man. It's uh, and it ain't what, man. We were up there 20, 25, 30 years ago, man. That's back, you know. It's all right, damn, but that place is nuts, man. They are packing them in like sardines. But anyway, man, so all these people, I'm sure they're from somewhere else. And I ain't gonna mention their name, you know, all the power to them, dude, whatever. I usually don't say anything about other channels and stuff, but gee, many Christmas, dude. If you're gonna do a gardening video, do a gardening video, man. And then the one, the one friggin' talks about, uh, it says, Girl alone, girl alone in the woods with her dogs. And, um, is it freaking there's some, you know, the guy filming that's running the drone and all this stuff, yeah, yeah. or whoever. So it's like, uh, I don't really think she's alone. <laughs> it's so dumb. And her boobs are hanging out of her overalls and stuff. I don't think I caught that one. Oh, whatever. That one. Dude, I'm trying to look for some gardening planning, you know, it's survival, dude. Weed through all yeah, the time. just out. Oh, dude! And and honestly, um, I did find this one gal. She's in Eastern Idaho, and then of course, uh, dirt, pa dirt patch farmers. I actually, she changed her uh, dirt patch haven. Watched her off and on for years, but uh, and she's got a good man. She's got a lot of good stuff, and it seems like the, there's another gal I just found this morning in Eastern Idaho that. Uh, she got, you know, she's just getting going. She's only got like 500 subs, man. I would, I would have threw her name out here, but I freaking, uh, uh, can't remember. Oh, uh, Idaho Farm Girl, or, yeah, I think it's Idaho Farm Girl. But and she's got some decent stuff. But that, uh, I don't know what it is about uh, northern Idaho and the, it is freaking cold up there, man. Your boobies will fall off. <laughs> Dude, what the hell? Oh, it cracks me the heck up, man. Whatever it takes for you. But they do it, and of course, all the channels that are, uh, they're showing boobs and all that on the, the clickbait or whatever. They got a bazillion subscribers, so I guess mm -hmm. that's what it's all about, man. So take it off, Miss Kitty. Yeah, I don't think so. We take it to the little mothers. Hey, you now I'll give you the last little muddy out here right now. <laughs> 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 